Good old morning, PMHS. I'm Sean Simpkins. And I'm Bethany Hannum. And this is News from the Nest. Students of the Month. Congratulations to PMHS February Students of the Month, Sarah Muse and Gravir Singh. Good job, guys. You're the bomb. Ping Pong Tournament. The Chinese Club is hosting its annual Ping Pong Tournament. It will be today after school in the cafeteria. The price is $5 to play and includes a slice of pizza and soda. Sign up in the Chinese room or on the door. Mardi Gras Big Sale. Attention all students, did you know that this Tuesday is Mardi Gras? As a celebration of this event around the world, German Club will be hosting a bake sale on Tuesday with German and American baked goods. The treats will be sold in the main office before school, so be sure to come hungry and celebrate the tradition of Mardi Gras. Get fat. Glowfest. NHS is sponsoring the upcoming Glowfest. Glowfest is on Friday, March 10th from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are $10 at the door or from Ms. Fulmer. Wear white clothing for the black light and there will be glow sticks and bracelets provided there. Now over to Book of the Week. Hi guys, welcome to Book of the Week. This week's book is Orbiting Jupiter by Gary Schmidt. This is a much darker book, especially than the last week's book. I know some of you guys really like dark stories. This is a story of a boy named Joseph. What we know about Joseph is He's in foster care, he served time in prison, he tried to kill a teacher, he's 14, and he has a daughter. Her name is Jupiter. It's really quick read, kind of sad, but good. Give it a try. Thanks, guys. Hop. The sophomore hop will be on March 31st from 7 to 10 p.m. in the gym. Tickets are $10 per person and will go on sale starting March 6th in the lobby before and after school. Soda can tabs. Student Council is still collecting soda can <laughs> tabs for the Ronald McDonald House. They will count as spirit points for the next pep rally. Tabs can be given to any student council member or dropped off to Ms. Turner in room 220. Be sure to write which class should receive credit for the tabs. Attention seniors, the local scholarship is still out. By completing this one application, you are eligible for more than 100 local scholarships awarded at Senior Awards Night or and the Win or Lose event ceremony in June. See your English teacher or Ms. Chase in the guidance office for the application. Don't miss out on this opportunity to get financial assistance for your future. A number of new scholarships have also been added to the scholarship box in the guidance office. Come down and see what you may be eligible for. And now over to our lunch. I don't always eat buffalo chicken, but when I do, it's on flatbread. Who is Panay's best friend? Meatballs with sauce, of course. Sides today will be sautéed spinach or cucumber slices. Now off to John with the weather. Thanks, Sean. What's up, party people? It's your boy weatherman with another broadcast today. And also today's weather is going to be a nice high of 73 with a nice low of 51. It's also looking really pretty sunny outside right now, but clouds are moving in, so we have that. And also over to uh, Dan and Devin at the, with the sports. Thanks, John. Sports scores. Boys basketball won their game against a longtime rival, Pennsburg, last night, 71 and 66, making that their 10th win of the season. Last night's top scorer was Rob Solomon with 25 points. The other scorers last night were C.J. Widger with 13, Jamie McCoy with 12, Logan Johnston with 10. Tyler DiBartolo with seven, and Zach Pope with four. Great job, guys. Wrestling has regions tonight at Egg Harbor Township High School at 5.30, and tomorrow morning it will continue at 10 a.m. Good luck, guys. Listen up. Clear your schedules for Tuesday, February 28th at 7 o'clock. Our Pennzoil Eagles boys basketball team will be against Woodstown in the first round of the playoffs, and they need all of that station to be there. Now back to Sean and Bethany on the table. Thanks, Dan and Devin. That's all for today, Pennsville. I'm Bethany. And I'm Sean Simpkins. And that was News from the Next.